This is a follow-up from our barbecue from hell. Brand new one. It's been in the back of the van for a while and just pushed way back in the back corner where it didn't get messed with or anything. And I'm getting it out and we're seeing if all the parts are here. And lo and behold, one of the handles is already chipped. It's got a big old chip in the darn thing. So what the heck? It's, I just, I just got it out of the box just now. So here's all my parts I'll be going through in a minute to make sure I've got everything here. And we'll see how this goes. You're supposed to have. Okay, two large screws. Five medium screws. Oh, good. And four small screws. One, two. I don't know, I think I just can't see them. I guess start trying to put it together, see what happens. Yeah. Okay, specifically says for outdoor use only. So yeah. This is my plan. Just leave the window behind it completely down. Yes. Doesn't that make it outdoors? I mean, it's freaking tent. Okay, we start with the lid, I believe. Ew, back yeah. to reading. Okay, hold on. What do they want to do? I swear we started with the lid. I could be wrong. Mmm. Okay. Warning, warning, warning. Here's all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Install the handles. Install the handle 9, heat resistant plate 7, bake light tube 8, and washer D to the lid two using large screw E. Okay, so. Okay, here's the lid. So it goes handle. Okay, go ahead. Okay, handle. Handle. Uh, big metal plate. Big. Bake light tube. Okay. Okay. Then lid. Then washer. Then bolt. Okay, I'm gonna do this one at a time. Probably have to do it upside down. Start from underneath. Okay. Okay. The handle, the plate. Then the tubes. But you gotta come up from underneath. Tubes. So I'd say start from underneath. A washer and what? Then the bolt. Okay, so I use one of these washers. Yep. Okay, well, we really loosen it backwards. I know. Because... Should be bolt, washer, tube. Metal plate. Bolt, washer, tube, metal plate. And then the handle. Okay. Now one of the problems we had is we were out in the field Trying to do this with that little Leatherman kind of tool that I got from the pin. You know, yeah. the little one that goes in my purse. That was all we had. Bolt, washer, lid. Washer goes in the inside of the lid, right? Right. Okay. T 
tube. Tube. Metal plate. Metal plate. And then handle. And be gentle here. We broke this. Yeah, but I dropped it. That's yeah. I broke. But one of these broke already. Yeah. That's why you want to be super gentle. How come it won't line up? Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Look how much is gapped. We get barely gapped ours at all. Probably don't want to use power. Set on four. Okay. Maybe I'll go up to five. Okay. What? Okay, we're done with the lid. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh yeah, the little tiny thingies. Yeah, there's the lid the braces. Tiny, the teeny tinies? Um. Gotta be. Let me go back to the directions. Install the lid brace tin inside the lid two with two bolt holes on the end of the lid using the small screw A and hex nut B. Do you need to you know what any of those are? Yep. Okay. okay, is this the way it goes? I'm sure it is. Um, points down, yes. It jogs in, it doesn't jog out. Right, see the pit, see the drawing? Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. I have hmm. an issue. What? Okay, see? Right? Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to go on? Yeah. Where's the second hole? <laughs> Is it different on the other side? There's no, a mark there's an where indent. it was supposed to be. But no second hole has been drilled <laughs> to accommodate the two nuts and bolts that hold the little doohickey in place. Can what you drill it out? What is this freaking company? Jeez. It really is crazy. Stay tuned for station identification. Now sometimes you get kind of this floating floor thing going on in your tent. And I've heard people talk, I've heard people talking about getting those fancy sandbags laying along the edge of their floor to keep their floor from doing that. But here at Trainwreck Travels, we've just taught our dogs to take care of that for us by digging their nice little holes right along the edge of the tent and it's all piled up and then that air doesn't get underneath there like that. Welcome back to Barbecue from Hell, part two. So I got some metal drill bits. Let's see, that feels like about the right size. The next one's gonna be way too big. Yep. Okay. I love these drill bits. They have little flat spots on three sides. So it it slips just perfect into there with the flat spots and has a stop right there. So you got them just, just in the right place. All right, so I'm gonna line this up with the indent that they have. Watch your fingers. Okay, it went through super easy, but I can't believe it. How many tools does it take to put together the infamous barbecue from hell? Okay. Let's go inside. Drop my two screws into place. Put the jukebo jigger in there. And two of the tiniest little nuts that I've ever had to deal with. Okay, 
I'm gonna turn this all the way down to, let's say three, because I don't want to bust anything. The lid's done, man. Next. Okay. Attach the burner and gas regulator. Here's the burner. Insert the burner tube through the side hole of the bowl. Oh. This? Yeah. The bowl? The bowl. The bowl? Okay, insert the gas tube. I guess both sides are identical. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to mount this, right, first. No, it shows that thing down. What? Oh, yeah, no, you have it right. Okay. So I mount this first. Oh, let's see Probably what it says now. medium screw. Align the brace bolt hole on bottom of burner with the center bolt hole on the bowl. With this. Yeah, all right. Insert a medium screw with washer attached up through the bowl into the brace bolt Is hole. Is it this one? I've got... It's the one you have five of. Well, I don't. I've got four of these and then one's a little bit smaller. Yeah, it must be it. Because they were actually listed separately. Okay, cool. But, and washer. See, oh, washer. Uh oh, don't forget the washer. Sorry, I should have told you that it was four in one. Okay. I think I'll crank this all the way up to four. A little bit bigger bolt here. Yay. Okay. Okay, now I just screw this thing on, right? Screw the regulator onto the burner tube until securely tightened. Ensure the regulator is set to the lock off position. Oh, I'm gonna need a wrench. I need a wrench, man. Does it say what? It said what? It said crank it to 180 foot-pounds, what? Secure the regulator onto the burner tube until securely tightened. Snug that puppy up. Okay. Okay. Now Jeez. attach the legs. Attach, oh no, the legs. Okay. And they take a washer at each hole. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just to complicate matters. Let's see, they go this. God, as I get old, I'm such fumble fingers. I feel like my fingers are all fat and clumsy. Okay. There we go, man. We done? Um, no. No? Okay, so we attach the legs. Yep. Now attach the heat dispersion plate. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. It's like a little teepee. Oh, yes. Well, what's it? Don't I have to put the little mounts in? There's nothing to mount this to. Onto the heat dispersion plate support. And okay. place. <clears throat> I think you missed something. I think these go on with the handles, maybe, or something. Did you miss a page? Miss a step? Uh, what about the just, side handles? Where? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. You skipped something, baby. There's nothing to mount that to. All right, so I guess I'm gonna take the chipped handle and I'm gonna put the chip up toward the top since you usually grab from the bottom, Lid then you shouldn't cut yourself or anything. And gas regulator. I forget if these goes up or down. They go up or they go down. They um, look like they go down. OK. 
Okay. It's like the second time we've got <clears throat> directions that are just missing. We should send it the company. Because this tent was like that too. It just stopped. And Okay, let's get a close up of that. If I can do it without messing anything up. Okay, so you got these little plates that this thing is going to rest on. And then the screw goes through that plate and in, into the actual handle. I mean, there's nothing in the instructions about that, but what the heck. I think we'll just do it anyway. Since this is V-shaped or TP-shaped or whatever you want to say, I tried to just eyeball that and match the angle on these where the plate will rest on them flat. So, should be close. Okay, so I started these by hand and just got them going. Now again, this is going to have to be slanted a little bit, so I'm going to try to hold it in place. And this one's got to slant that way. drops right into place. So once again, we were saved by this the blow The master apart. plan, the master uh -huh. picture, yeah. I don't know, maybe I should have left them straight. It doesn't seem to want to... That thing saved us. Enough, I guess. It doesn't really set in there right, though. Maybe they need to be straight. Maybe it's set up for them. Yeah, it's a little too long. Well, that's all right. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the screen. The rack, yeah. And today we did it without breaking it. <laughs> We're done, man. The lids over here. Now you need, still need to find the tank. And, uh, okay, hose. We put one together, totally unbroken, except the piece that was broken when I took it out of the package. The handle again, um, tools needed, a hand screwdriver, or I use my ratchet screwdriver, a small wrench or ply or something. And in this case, for this particular item, drill bits. 